mouse click deselect windows, won't click on things, and for example, won't open a start menu. I had this problem a couple of days ago, and I wasn't able to click on anything. And if I clicked on tabs, they would just close. And turns out that this problem has the same symptoms that the other couple of other problems have. And the problem can be in your mouse. You can have a broken button, which I had, which means that the middle button gets stuck, which can be fixed by pressing the middle mouse button, which resets the, the press. Or you can press control S or control alt delete and then select cancel which all will cancel out the 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 press but there's also a couple of other problems that have the exact same symptoms which can be fixed one of them can be fixed by going to Dev device manager and the mouse and you should have only one mouse but for some reason you sometimes have two now if you disable the HID compliant mouse, this sometimes fixes it, if that is the problem. As long as you don't have two mouses connected into the same computer. Another one is that you might have some power options that are causing issues. That the power plan that you have lets Windows turn off your USB device. And for example, if you have a wireless device, this sometimes will go into the, that it goes offline, but it never comes back online. So it leaves buttons pressed. And again, this might fix it. It might not fix it, depending on if the issue is actually that one. Then there's another one, another power setting in that you can access to through Device Manager. And in this case, I have a PS2 mouse, which doesn't have that power saving feature. But USB mice will have a power saver saving feature here, which says something like to allow Windows to turn off uh, this device to save power. And... Once you disable that, that might fix it, depending if that is the problem. And then there's the whole thing that that some mice have a control software like Logitech gaming mice. You can turn off the buttons if you're not using it. For example, if the problem is a back button, you can just open the Logitech control software and go and disable that button. The problem will more than likely go away. I've also seen some people desoldering the button to get rid of the problem. But that's all for today.